Hello again, seventh graders. This is week 12. This is lesson two. We are on textbook page 339 to 340. We jumped a few pages because we're in a new topic and we are on the first lesson of topic seven. Let's start off with a quiz. What are some problems with using the ocean as a food source? So what are some problems fishing to get food from the ocean? A, overfishing. It's when you just fish too much. B, decreased population of fish. C, bycatch. Or D, all of the above. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm not going to eliminate any because the correct answer is all of the above. Overfishing is taking fish out of the ocean faster than they can reproduce. So a consequence of overfishing or a result of overfishing is that you can decrease fish populations. Bycatch are animals that are accidentally caught in nets when trying to fish. So here's a picture of bycatch from shrimp fishing and you can see that all of those animals are not fish. Those are sharks that the fishermen didn't mean to catch, other fish that the fishermen didn't need to catch. And unfortunately, when those animals are brought to the surface, they usually die. And that can also decrease populations of other ocean animals. All right, well, we're not gonna talk about fishing today or overfishing. Today, we're gonna talk about the human population because remember, we started a new topic today. So some interesting facts about the human population is that there are more humans on Earth than ever before in human history. In 2017, so that's about three years ago, there were 7.5 billion people on Earth. So there are a lot of us right now. Before I talk about the human population, I want to review what population means. So we have learned about populations before when we were still in school. Can you take a minute to try to describe it in your own words? So maybe pause the video and go explain what you think a population means to your little sibling or your parents or your dog, whoever is listening at home. I'm gonna show you two pictures and I want you to choose the picture that shows a population. Is it picture A or is it picture B? What do you think? Which picture, A or B, shows a population? Now, if you're feeling stuck, I'm gonna give you a hint. A population is a group of the same species living in the area. So which picture shows the same species. Well, it's going to be picture A. Picture A shows a population of zebras. So a population is a group of the same species that are hanging out in the same area at the same time. Why isn't picture B a population? Well, because it actually shows a community which is different populations living in the same area. And if I look at this picture, I see two populations. I see a population of elephants and a population of zebras. And since they're both in the same space at the same time when this picture was taken, that can be described as a community. All right, let's go back to learning about the human population. So this is going to be like part history, part science lesson today. So let's travel back in time 60,000 years ago. The human population was stable. It was unchanging. So I'm going to represent this with a graph. Okay, and on the X axis, I'm going to have years. And on the y-axis, I'm going to have number of humans. And I'm pretending that this is 60,000 years ago. So I have a little increase because you can't start off with zero without increasing. But then that population number stays the same even though the years are changing. So this is what we call stable. And to stay stable, birth rate has to equal death rate. Well, what's birth rate? Birth rate is the numbers of births in a period of time. So how many births you have, um, let's say yearly, or maybe every 10 years, every 100 years. So what do you think death rate's gonna be? 
death rate is going to be the numbers of deaths in a period of time. And so for a population to be stable, you are having the number of people being born able to replace the number of people that are dying. Okay, so after a while, this stopped happening. So I said 60,000 years ago, the human population was stable. Okay, this is what a stable population looks like. The number of humans isn't changing even though the years are changing. But 10,000 years ago, the human population started to increase. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like on the graph. So why did this happen? Why was it stable for such a long period of time, but then it started to increase? So what changed in history? Well, humans started to farm and keep animals so there was more food, so they didn't need to hunt as much. It's really hard to hunt. I wouldn't know because I've never tried, but I'm assuming that it's pretty difficult. Okay, and then by the 1700s, the human population was on a steady increase. Okay, so it just kept increasing. The graph line kept moving up. And by the early 1800s, the population was 1 billion. Okay, so that's a big, big, big number. All right, let's explain some of the reason for increasing population. So there's been new advances in technology. So what does this mean? New discoveries in medicine help people live longer. New farming technology help people grow more food. You can have more humans if you have a way to feed them. And the Industrial Revolution that started in the 1760s started producing good in goods in mass production. So that means uh, that you can produce many things at once. And this helped people meet their basic needs faster. So I'm talking about shelter, clothing. So more people were able to have their basic needs met. More people were able to get easy access to food, and if they were sick, there were new medicines that prevent them from dying. So all of these factors helped the human population really explode. Okay, so that is it for our half history, half science lesson today. Let's end with a little quiz. In order for population to be stable or stay the same, what must happen? A, birth rate, is greater than death rate, B, death rate is greater than birth rate, C, birth rate and death rate are equal, or D, no babies can be born for 10 years. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, I'm gonna eliminate no babies can be born for 10 years because I didn't mention anything about babies being born within 10 years, or I didn't give any specific number of years. I'm also going to eliminate birth rate is greater than death rate because that would mean that the population would increase, right? Because you've got more people being born than more people being dying. <laughs> more people dying. All right, so correct answer is C. Birth rate and death rate are equal. So you have equal number of people going out with death, an equal number of people coming in with birth. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Remember that I know that you can continue to work hard till the end of June, not even the end of June, middle of June now. Um, every little bit counts, so please don't feel like the school year is over. There's still work to be done, and there's still chances to increase your grade. Contact me if you have any questions. Have a good day.